This video is brought to you by Patreon. Support Cyberborgtronic at patreon.com. Links below in the description. Welcome to the unboxing of Cyber's second brand new camera, the Fujifilm Fine Pix S8600. You might be asking what happened to the old Sony Cybershot. Well, it did have an issue where it just closed right after taking a picture. Maybe it was an issue with the camera itself, or maybe it's an issue with all the Cybershot lineup in general. But in any case, the camera was changed, and this is the brand new camera Cyber is going to use for future videos. Compared to the other camera, this Fuji camera is much more easy to use with when it comes to setting the white balance or the OIS when taking a picture compared to the Sony which sent you to a separate screen to make the changes and settings without even previewing the picture. Unfortunately, this camera falls a little short to 16 megapixels compared to the Cybershot, which featured 21.4, but it doesn't matter as long as the quality of the pictures turn out in good quality. The only similarities are that both cameras are semi-pro and capture up to 720p video recording. But a plus to the Fujifilm Fine Pix is that this camera features an HDMI option to view pictures or videos on a bigger screen, but I doubt I'll use that option. Now on to the unboxing, and as you can see that this camera takes three AA batteries. Unfortunately, like most cameras, it does not include an SD card for more memory. But as with all cameras, it does features a protective lens. And, also a plus, it's that it has a lens strap to attach the camera so that you don't lose your protection lens. Then there's the official Fujifilm strap to attach your camera, of course, that is included with all of the cameras in general. And finally, there's the camera itself wrapped around this plastic with one more thing to remove, which is the plastic covering the screen. And here's how the camera looks in general. On the right side, you have your ports, which are the HDMI and USB. On the front, you have your lens, which features the 36x optical zooms. And on the back, you have, of course, your button settings when you take pictures. And here's how some of the pictures look with the Fujifilm Fine Pix S8600. With the flash and without flash, of course. Finally and overall, this camera has made a good first impression and hopefully it will not have the same problem as its predecessor that I had, the, which was the Sony Cybershot. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and don't forget to follow Cyberborgtronic on Patreon.